Today we're going to t talk about the different properties of logarithms. Um, so on your worksheet I've posted the different properties of logarithms and I have them listed here as well. So you should be able to see that they are very similar to our properties of exponents. Um, so the top properties have to do with just whether something is raised to the zero power or to the first power. So since logs are the inverses of exponents, um, these are kind of the opposite. So property one says the log base b of one is always zero, and then log base b of the number b is one. Um, then the second and third property we'll use a lot while we're solving different logarithmic equations. So if you are multiplying two things inside of a log, you can separate it into two different logarithms by adding, and then if you're dividing inside of a logarithm, you can separate using subtraction. Um, but notice the base has to stay the same for each of those. And then our fourth property is the power property, and this just says that if you have an exponent um, inside of a logarithm, as long as everything inside of that logarithm is raised to the exponent, then you can drop that down in front of the logarithm, just like we did here with the r, and change it to multiplication. So we're just going to look at a couple examples today of how to use those different properties. Okay, first we'll look at a couple examples of how to separate logarithms into uh, more than one logarithm. So the goal is to write this logarithm here as, as many logarithms logarithms as we need to, but we don't want any multiplication, division, or exponents inside of the logarithm. So right here, where we have m squared times n. So if you look at your properties, to separate multiplication, we can use addition. So this becomes log of m squared plus log of n. And then the last thing that we want to do is anytime we have an exponent, because all of this, the full m, is raised to the second power, this 2 can go in front and become multiplication. So this just becomes the expression 2 log m plus log n. Now if we look at the second example, this example here has division instead of multiplication. And we're first going to do the division and then look at the exponents. We can't do them at the beginning because they're opposite. Um, the whole expression isn't raised to the exponent. So first, when we have division, we separate using subtraction. And notice I'm keeping the same base, so the natural log, for each of these. And then after it's separated, now the full m is to the second power, so I can put that in front of that expression and the 3 in front of that expression. And so that gives me 2 natural log of m minus 3 times the natural log of n. And now we have two expressions with no multiplication, division, or exponents. Let's look at one more example. This example is a little bit trickier than the others because it has a root, a cube root in this case. And a lot of people look at this and don't see anything that we can do to simplify because of that cube root. But I just want to remind you that the cube root is the same as raising something to the one-third power. So we're going to start from the outside and work our way in. All of this is raised to the one-third power. So right away we can drop that one-third in front. So we get one-third times the log of 3 minus v all over 2v. And then what I see here is I see this division. And remember division can get separated using subtraction. So I'll change this expression to one-third, and that one-third has to apply to everything. So I'm going to just keep it in parentheses, or I'm just going to do brackets here for now. 3 minus v minus the log of 2v. 
Okay, so I just got rid of that division. Now if you look here, we have 3 minus v in one logarithm, and we can't separate subtraction when it's inside. We can go the opposite way, but we can't separate that subtraction at all. But in the second one, the 2v, that is multiplication, and we can separate that. So what we would get, we'll keep the one-third in front, we're not going to change the first expression, and then this subtraction sign, it has to be distributed to this entire log of 2v. So we'll say minus log of 2 plus log of v. Because it is multiplication, but we do have this subtraction. So if I get rid of all of the parentheses, just to make it a little bit easier to write, we'll distribute the subtraction sign and then we'll also distribute the one-third. So I'll just write it in here at the bottom. One-third times the log of 3 minus v minus one-third times the log of 2 minus one-third times the log of v. And that gets rid of all parentheses. When we're solving logarithmic equations, we're actually going to use um, the opposite method um, of the properties, where instead of separating them into many logarithms, we'll try to combine them into one. So in this case, you'll notice what we have is an addition sign. And so if we want to combine these two logarithms into one with addition, that means we'll multiply. So we're not going to change the x plus 3 at all. Instead, we're going to write this just as one logarithm. It's going to be the natural log of x plus 3 times 2x. And all of that is inside of the logarithm. And when we're solving these, you'll have to distribute. So we'll just distribute here. We'll distribute the 2x. So we get the natural log of 2x squared plus 6x. And we'll do the same thing below. Here we have subtraction. And subtraction, if you look at your properties, can be combined into one using division. So since both of these are natural logs, we'll just divide x plus 3 divided by x minus 1. And usually for the division you don't have to do um, any more work than that. You don't have to do long division in this case. Now we just have one final formula that we will use a lot while evaluating logarithms and it's the change of base formula. So what the change of base formula does is it allows us to evaluate logarithms of any base. Um, so far, we only can do logarithms of base 10 and base E using those buttons on our calculator. So what it says is if you have a logarithm of any base, as long as A is not 1, and it's a positive real number, then we can do the log of the inside of the logarithm, the x, divided by the logarithm of the base, the a, um, using any base we want. So that allows us to type it into our calculator using just the common log or the natural log. So for instance, down at the bottom, log base 3 of 67, we could type that into our calculator as log 67 divided by log 3, or natural log of 67 divided by the natural log of 3. Either way, that will evaluate um, the expression for us and give us the same answer. Go ahead and try it on your calculator, but you should see that whether you do the natural log or the common log, you'll get the same answer. Um, I got about 3.827 for the solution.